Great, thank you. Yes, okay. So actually, right before we get started, I'd like to start with the Sadhguru Vandana. So if we could all sit with our head, neck and spine in a straight line and put our hands in a prayer position like this, we can get started. Nityanandam paramasukadam kevalam yanam murtim vanvatitam kagana sadrisham tatvamasya tilaksham ekam nityam vimachalam sarvadi sakshi bhutam bhavatitam trikuna rahitam sakrutam namami so Nityananda, everyone. Yes. So today we're making uh, turmeric Ganesha. And so the reason we're making Ganesha today is actually because today is actually Ganesha's birthday. It's Ganesha Chaturthi. So this is the day Ganesha actually landed from Kailasa to Earth, planet Earth, with Devi, um, Devi Parvati. So today is actually Ganesha's birthday. And so the reason we're gonna be making Ganesha out of turmeric and like uh, not clay, or if you have clay, that's totally fine. But the reason I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make it with turmeric is because turmeric is actually an alchemy product. So this, um, so this product, um, turmeric, is actually uh, a very like auspicious product because it holds a lot of energy. So that you'll see today that you'll actually be able to see that your Ganesha actually has a lot of energy, it actually has life. So after we make the Ganesha, um, I'll maybe lead you guys into power manifestation as well, into feeding Ganesha, because since it's his birthday today, he's really going to be landing into all of our little deities that we're going to be making. So yes, so yes, so I'm going to be going over all the things that we need today for today's session. So we're going to need uh, we're going to need some turmeric. So I have my turmeric here. Uh, you guys can use any turmeric, just like um, preferably just like you know all like raw turmeric powder. If you guys don't have turmeric, uh, clay is perfectly fine as well. And we're gonna need some water, and not too much water. So if you guys want to get a cup of water, and then you're just gonna need a big bowl just so that you can mix it all together, and maybe a plate to put your ganesha on after, because after you make your ganesha, uh, he's gonna need something to sit on because he's gonna be like really fragile. So maybe use a plate that you are not gonna need later. Yes, so I'll give you guys maybe a second to grab all of that if it's needed. And um, you guys can also get some paint, maybe like red, black and white paint, but this is totally optional. If you guys don't have paint, that's fine. And maybe like a paintbrush or like a little stick just so that you can paint on your Ganesha after. Yes, so I'll just wait maybe one more minute in case everybody needs to grab those ingredients. Yes, so can I please get a thumbs up from everybody if you guys are ready to start? Yes, okay. Thumbs up. Okay, awesome. Yes, so we're gonna start off now. So first we're gonna need to get our turmeric. And if you don't have this much turmeric, that's fine. You don't really need that much turmeric. It just like depends. Uh, you can add as much as you want. If you like want to make a big Ganesha, if you only have a little bit of turmeric, that's fine. You guys can make a little small Ganesha as well. Yes. So I'm just going to be adding it into my big bowl now. And you guys can add a little bit at a time, just so that you don't make too much. You guys don't make too little. You can still, like, if you feel like uh, later on you want more, you can still add powder later on after as well. And then now we're just going to get our water. I have mine in, like, a little bowl, so that's easy for me to pour in. And if you guys are using clay instead of turmeric, you guys don't need to do this. I'm just going over how to make the clay with the turmeric. So I added the turmeric and the water inside the bowl. 
Yes. So you guys can use a spoon or you guys can use your hand to mix it. I'm just going to use my hand. Yes. So you just want to add a little bit water at a time just so that it's not too watery because we want it to be kind of like a cake, like a cake kind of like batter kind of consistency so that it's like dough. So if you add too much water, it might be like too runny and it might like break up a little bit. Uh, and like occasionally while we're making the Ganesha, you might, you're, you're going to need to add water like so it doesn't dry out. But yeah, so first just add a little bit of water and just, you know, do it a little bit slowly. There's no rush just so that you can get it to the consistency that you like. So I'm just mixing mine in right now. And so the consistency you want is like, so it's, it's able to stick together and it's not like too hard, like where it breaks off, it's not too soft or like smelting down. You want it so that you're actually able to mold it. So let me just show you guys. So like this, it like doesn't break off and it's like not too crumbly and it's not too runny. Like this. So I'm just gonna keep mixing mine in. Maybe I'm gonna add a little bit more turmeric as well. And then I'm just adding a little bit more water. And if you add too much water, that's fine. You can just add more turmeric just so that it like evens it out. Yes, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more water and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Yes, so this is what it looks like. It's like, uh, it's like able to stick together and it's not too crumbly and it's not too like uh, soft where it's like melting down. So this is gonna be what we're gonna be using as our clay, our base for the Ganesha. And I'll just uh, maybe give you guys a few more minutes if you're making your clay. And if you guys need any help, you guys can say in the chat or ask any questions and I can help you as well. Okay. Yes, so I see you all doing this. This is great. You guys are holding such a beautiful space. If any of you guys have any questions, you can just let me know and I can help you out. Yes. So if you guys are ready to move forward, could you just, just give me a thumbs up if you're ready? And if you're not ready, you guys can just give me a thumbs down just so I know if we can move on. Yes, thumbs up. Oh, thumbs down. Okay, we'll wait a few more minutes then. Yes, thank you everyone.
Yes. Okay, so I'm just gonna go on with how to make the body now, just so that our turmeric just doesn't get like all clumpy. Um, if you guys are still making your clay, that's totally fine. You guys can just take this at your own pace. Uh, it's not like a process where you have to rush it. You guys just you guys can take it slowly. Yes. So first off, we're gonna get some of our turmeric clay that we just made, and you wanna make like kind of like a medium-sized ball. And this part's gonna be for the body. So. I'm gonna use this one right here. I'll just show you guys the size in just one second. Yes. So this is the circle I'm gonna be using. It's kind of medium size. We're gonna, I'm gonna use this for my body. You guys can make it bigger if you want your Ganesha to be bigger, or you guys can make it smaller if you want your Ganesha to be smaller. Okay. And so I'm just gonna put that down on my plate in the center. And if it's cracking, that's fine. You're just going to need to add a little bit of water. So you're just going to wet your hands and just fix the cracks. And this is also with clay. If your clay is cracking, you guys can just fix it up with just a little bit of water or depending on what clay you have. Yes. So I'm just making, just shaping it up. So now I'm just shaping it kind of like an oval, just so that it kind of gets like the little body shape. Yes. So I'll show you guys this is it so far. Okay. No, because it's on the plate now. Yes. Okay. And now, after we just fix up the little cracks that we have on it, uh, we're gonna make a little, little bit smaller circle, and we're gonna use this for the head. So you don't want it to be like a little bit bigger than the body, otherwise it might fall off. You just want it to be a little bit circle. So I'm gonna use this one. It's a little bit smaller. And if you're, um, if you put it on and it starts falling off, you guys can use toothpicks if you want. You can put a toothpick in the center just so that it holds both of the pieces together. Do you have any toothpicks, Dina? Do you have any toothpicks? Yes. So I'm just gonna put that right on top. Maybe I'm just gonna put a little bit of water so it sticks together. So let me move my camera down. Yes, there we go. So this is what it looks like so far. I'll give you guys a second for that part as well. Yes. Okay. And so now we're just going to make a little bit of another smaller circle. And this one's going to be like really small compared to the other ones. And we're going to be using these for the legs. So I'm going to use this one. So after you make your circle, you're just going to like round it off in your hand. You have to be a little bit gentle since it's turmeric, it's going to be a little bit fragile. So you just have to gently roll it on your hands. And if it's cracking, just add a little bit of water. You don't want to add too much so that it starts breaking. Just a little bit of water at the top. So I don't know if you guys can see. It's kind of like a little long shape now. Thank you. Yes. Okay. And so you're just gonna place that right in front and I'll just show you guys one second. So I already added one leg. So you're just gonna place that right in front and it looks a little bit off right now. So what you're gonna do is from this part right here, that's on the side of his body, you're just gonna gently push it in. Just so that it kind of like collides with his body. And just so it's kind of fits like that. And you're just gonna do that to the other side. So you're gonna make another little circle. And you're just gonna like make it into a little long shape by gently rolling it on your hands. And then you're gonna put it down on the other side. And then gently like push it into his body. Yes. 
So this is my second oval shape I made. I'm gonna use this for the, leg, for the leg. So I'm just putting this on the other side. Just gently pushing it in. And then I'm gonna use water to smooth it out. Yes, and so I'm actually gonna use a little stick. Since I don't have a toothpick, I'm just using a little bit of a, like a thin stick. And I'm just gonna use this to support the head. This part is optional. I'm just using it so that it stays together, just so that it doesn't fall off by an accident or anything. So I'm just putting it in the center of the body, then placing the head right on top, and then just shaping it back on. So this is what it looks like so far. Like this. Okay. And if you guys have clay, I don't think you guys are going to need to do the toothpick uh, option because clay, it sticks together more than turmeric because it's like actually made for like sticking together. So you won't need to use the toothpick. Uh, the toothpick option is like if you're using turmeric. Okay. So now I'm just going to be making a little triangle and I'm going to use this for his little hat, like, uh, what, like his crown. So I'm going to be making his crown. So first I'm going to make kind of like a triangle shape. So I'm getting more of my turmeric clay and making kind of like a triangle or like a pyramid shape. I'll show you guys in just a second. So this is a shape, a triangle, kind of like a pyramid. Yes. And then right before I put that on top of his head, I'm going to get another little piece. And I'm going to make this into like a kind of like a cube. And this is going to be the base of his crown. So this is a little cube I made. You guys can see. So I'm just going to put that right on top of his head. Just like this. And then maybe getting like another like toothpick and just putting a small one right on top just so that his crown stays together. Oops. And I'm gonna put that pyramid shape right on top of the square that I put on top of his head. So it's a little bit too big, so I'm just gonna shape it a little bit smaller. So I'm just putting that right on top of his head. And just using some water just to like smooth it out, just to get rid of those little cracks that are there. And just don't forget to be kind of gentle with it since it's like a powder, it's a little bit fragile, it's kind of thin. So this is it so far. So I'll give you guys a second for that. Yes. So if anybody wants to hold up their little, um, what, their, what their progress is so far, if they want to hold up their plate or hold it up. Beautiful, Ma Parameshwara. Beautiful. I love it, Ma. Wow, beautiful, Ma Sherry. So cute. Thank you. Oh, my yogi does. <laughs> cute. Beautiful. Very awesome. Nice. All of you, Ganesha, looks very happy. Yes. Very nice. <laughs> Great. Great. Yes. So, 
Yes. So now we're just going to get another small circle and just kind of smooth it out into like a ball once again. And then roll it out so it's kind of thin, like how we did with the legs. And this one, we want it to be a little bit thinner, and we're going to use this for the arms. So it doesn't have to be um, like as big of a piece as the legs were. You can just use a smaller piece. And just once again, using water if it's needed. Can you give me another one of the sticks? Maybe little sticks you can Thanks. Yes. And I'm just going to put this on the side of the body. And then once again, kind of pushing the top. Let me see if I can show you guys. So I just put the little arm on the side of his body. And then just kind of pushing the top just to shape it. And then like push it into his body so it looks like it's his arm. And then don't forget to use water if it's um, cracking a little bit. So that it gets shape once again. Thank you. Oh. Yes. So this is one of his arms so far. You guys can see. Yes. And then now we can move on to making his other arm. So just getting a little bit of clay of your turmeric or your clay. We're just going to do the same thing we did with the other arm, just rolling out a little ball. And then this time, we're just going to make it a little bit smaller, or actually, you can make it long and then just bend it so that it looks like his arm is up. So if it's cracking, just add a little bit of water and just be a little bit um, like careful with it. Oops, I just dropped it. <laughs> Be a little bit careful with it. I'll show you guys in just one second. I'm just going to fix it up a little bit. Yes. So it's kind of like a V shape. It's a little bit like a V shape. So I just made it into like a long shape and I'm just going to And I'm just going to use this for the other side of the arm. And if it's like breaking, then that's okay. You guys can just make it like a like the way we did with the other arm, or you can make it half and half. You can make like one little bit long piece, and then maybe put a piece of like like a toothpick or something to hold it together, and then make another piece for his arm to be bent. So mine's breaking a little bit, so I'm just gonna make it like a half shape of like half an oval or half like the long piece. So I, I made it into half now, and I'm just gonna put it on his arm on his body first. And just adding water so that it sticks together and makes it smooth. Yes. I'm just gonna now add a little bit, like a little piece of wood. You guys can use a toothpick, like a break a, a toothpick to fit the right size. So I'm just gonna put a little piece of wood and. and Yes, so I'm actually, I broke a little bit of like a toothpick, like into a small piece. And I'm doing this because when I put his arm together, like when I made a little bent piece, the turmeric was a little bit too fragile, so it kind of kept falling. So I'm using a turmeric just so that, um, I'm using a toothpick, sorry, just so that it holds the turmeric up, so that it gives it a little bit of support so it doesn't keep falling. So I made a little piece, so I made a little part for his arm, so that's gonna be the top part of his arm. I'm just going to put the toothpick on the side of his body instead of the arm because if you put it in the arm it's going to fall because the arm is still thin. So I put it on his body and I'm just going to add the second part of the arm. You guys can see that. I'll show you just one second.
So this is mine so far. And I made a little circle so it looks like his hand is up like this. You guys can see to the side of you. Like this. And one thing I'd like to share is that actually when uh, Devi Parvati actually made Ganesha, so Ganesha is actually, he was made from Parvati. So instead of him being like born like a baby, she actually sculpted him by taking like the, tumor, the turmeric and all, all the like minerals from her muscle memory and she sculpted him. So she actually breathed life into him by sculpting him like with clay and turmeric and all the like minerals that she had from her bodies. She sculpted him and then she, she breathed life into him. So it's actually really, ha it makes Ganesha really happy that we're making him just like that as well. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I thought that was really fun. And that I thought that was really interesting as well. Yes. Ma, can you show uh, your uh, second hand for, again, closer? Can I? Yes. Can we see? Yes. Uh, so it's like, like this, right? It's like yes. this? Okay. Like up. Yes. Like blessing, yeah. Okay. Like yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, so now we're going to move on to making the ears. So this part's a little bit tricky. If you guys are using clay, it'll be fine for you guys. But since it's turmeric, it's like, it, it's really fragile. So it needs something to support itself. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it with um, turmeric. If you're not able to, you guys can use paper as well. And I'll show you guys how to do it with paper. Um, so first, let me show you guys how to do it with turmeric. So first, you're just going to get like a little ball once again. And you're just going to fly it out on your hand. And just kind of make the shape of an ear. But you don't have to make it like too much of a shape of an ear, just kind of slightly. Because uh, since it's like turmeric, it's, if you make it exactly the shape of an ear, it might like crumble because it's so thin. So let me just show you guys. So here's the little shape I made. It's kind of blending it with my hand since I have so much powder on my hand, if you guys can see. And I'm just going to put that on his body and I'm going to put it behind his head slightly and then pushing it in to his head. So let me see if I can show you guys. Just like this. And if that doesn't work for you guys, I'll show you guys how to do it with paper as well. So I'll do both methods. So that's his little ear. And so I'm just going to push into his head very gently since it's so thin you want to be very careful with it. And then just using water to blend it in together. Yes. And all your Ganesha looks very beautiful. He's looking so joyful and so happy. And actually, Swamiji tells us that Ganesha is, he represents spontaneity, right? So it's all about being spontaneous with him. So if your ear is small and big, that's okay. You can just enjoy the process by just being spontaneous. So each one of your Ganesha is very beautiful because it's very unique and spontaneous. And if any of you need help, like with the ear part, then Tracy can explain it to you again. You can just ask her, or you can ask your parents and they can put it in the chat and she can show you how to make it. So, since I showed you guys, oops, sorry. Since I showed you guys how to make it with uh, clay, now I'm gonna show you guys how to make it with paper. So you're just gonna get a little piece of paper and maybe double the piece of paper and just break a little piece off. Yes, so actually I'll give you guys a few minutes to get paper as well, sorry. If you guys are want to do, wanting to do this with paper instead of your clay or your turmeric, I'll give you guys maybe a few minutes to get paper. Oh, do we have tea? It could be any tape, like duct tape. Okay, sure. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. So if you're using paper, you might need some tape and like a little toothpick. If you don't have a toothpick, that's fine. You guys can use anything that's like 
thin and narrow. So it could be like maybe an instant stick, for example, or like a little metal piece, anything that's like thin and long that you can use to like give it support. Is it matches? Yeah, you guys could use matches as well if, you, if your parents have matches. Mm -hmm. So now I have the piece of paper. I just ripped kind of like the corner off of the paper and I doubled it. So there's two papers here. You guys can see that. And so from here, I'm just gonna like kind of make the shape of his ear. So his ear is kind of like what I like to imagine while shaping his ear. It's kind of like a butterfly wing. So since he has big elephant ears, they're kind of like kind of like the shape of a butterfly wing, or you can imagine kind of like a flower petal, like a lotus flower petal, or anything like that. So I'm just gonna maybe shape it off first, and I'll show you guys. And you know, elephant ears are all different shapes, so it doesn't have to be one shape. You guys can make it however you want to. Just get creative with it, have fun with it. It doesn't matter. Any way you guys want to make it, that's totally fine. So I made it kind of, kind of like a flower. First, I kind of made it like a flower petal, and then I kind of ripped the side off just so that I can put it close to his head. So this is the shape I made. So now I'm just gonna get uh, even another stick. Actually, oh, actually, I have a stick. Never mind. So I'm gonna use this piece of metal since I don't have any more sticks. Uh, it just has to be anything like long. So I'm just gonna shape it into like a long kind of shape. You might, if you're using like a metal piece or something, you guys can ask your parents to help you as well. So yes. So I'm just using like kind of this thin shape. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah. Maybe I can see it. Yeah. Look. So this is like a paper clip actually. Yes, yeah, so it's a paper clip and I just like uh, unfolded it so it's long. Okay. And so I'm just gonna get some little bit tape. And you don't need a lot, you just need a little bit actually. So I'm just gonna split my this smaller piece. And so depending on which way you want his ear to be, I'm gonna have his ear Maybe this direction and I'm actually just going to shape it a little bit more. So at the bottom I'm just rounding it off a little bit. So yeah, this is what the shape looks like. So where the part that's going to be closest to his body is where you're going to add the tape. So let me just show you guys. And it's fine if you get turmeric all over it, it's going to be covered in turmeric right after anyways. So I added one side, I put the tape on one side of it. And I'm just going to get the little metal piece I'm using, and I'm just going to put it there as well. And I'm going to fold the tape piece over so that it's holding both of the pieces of the ear together and the metal together. So let me just show you guys in a second. So you guys can cut off the excess tape. Or you guys can ask your parents to help you with that part as well. So this is what it looks like so far for kind of like a little flag actually it looks kind of like a little flag so this is what it looks like so far and so it's fine if you guys get turmeric all over it because actually the next part we're going to do is we're going to get our little like the paper part of it and you're just going to put it in like a little bit of water so you can just dip in your water and then clean off the excess water so it's not dripping um just try to be a little bit careful and avoid the tape part so the tape doesn't come off so i just dip mine in water so now it's like wet and then now uh, I'm just gonna get some of the turmeric powder and I'm just gonna put it in my bowl actually so that's easier for me to use. You guys can put it on your plate or if you already have it out, that's fine. Oops, put too much, that's fine. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna get my wet piece of paper that we're using for the ear and I'm just gonna like kind of dip it into the little, um, into the little turmeric powder. So just putting powder all over it, just so that it looks like it's part of the body as well. So if you're using clay, that's fine. You guys can make the ear out of um, your clay, or you guys can maybe color the paper in instead of putting turmeric on it. I'm just putting turmeric on it, so it looks like it's part of the body still. So I'm just gonna add a little water since there's some places it's missing water. Just like this. So if you guys can see, it's kind of, most of it's covered in, in uh, turmeric now. So I'm just gonna make sure to get the back side as well. The back side's missing a little bit, so I'm just gonna add some water. Just put that in. And this part's optional. It's just if you guys feel like you wanna use a paper ear instead of the turmeric, if the turmeric, uh, making the ear out of turmeric is a little bit hard. 
um, then you can do this instead. That's a great idea, ma. <laughs> it's a very good idea. And uh, spread it with the turmeric, so <laughs> it's a great idea. <laughs> Yeah, so it's like, you know, it still has like, you know, the elements of the turmeric and it still looks like it's part of his body. And so I kind of thought of this because last time I was making Ganesha, I thought it was a little bit hard to make his ears because, you know, when you're first making it, it's a little bit tricky at first. It's a little bit tricky at first because, you know, you have the, you're learning the techniques of how to make the turmeric into the right consistency and then it starts cracking at first. So I thought, you know, maybe it's, it would be easier if I just found a different way to work around it. So I just started this idea. So um, now what you want to do is you're going to get the pointy part if you're using a toothpick or if you're using a paper clip. And you're just going to put that like a little bit behind of his body. I'm just going to put it in and I'll show you guys. Goes so in the back of his head, yes? Uh, no, it's in the, like his back. So you're just going to put it in his back because it's going to be resting behind his head. And then you can just use a little bit of turmeric to cover up the back. Like a little bit of your turmeric clay to cover up the back. And I'm just adding a little bit of water just to blend it in so it looks like uh, nothing's different behind there. So I'll show you guys. So this is it. So this is the paper ear, and then this is a clay ear. You can't really tell that this side is paper, so it works really well if you cover it in turmeric. So I'll, I'll give you guys maybe a few minutes just to work on that part because I know the ears can be a little bit tricky. So if you guys want to use any of the methods, if you guys have any questions, you guys can feel free to type it in the chat or you can unmute and ask me the question and I can help you out. So how is everyone doing? If you guys maybe want to share uh, how it's going so far, or if you don't want to unmute, you guys can give me a thumbs up to show if it's going well, or you can type it in the chat. Beautiful mm -hmm. Mahomeshwara. Mm -hmm. Wow. wow, very beautiful. Kind of very beautiful. Awesome, Ma. Yeah. Sherry's giving Ma, a this is my awesome. uh, grandson. I'm making for my grandson. He's going to be so thrilled. He knows <laughs> that he's not even two yet. Now he's will be two. <laughs> Such a friendly space as well that, like, even when they like when they see Ganesha, it just reminds them of themselves, you know, because he just has <laughs> such a healthy and you know just such a radiating space, you know. Yeah. And also his like his physical appearance seems so funny to them and so cute to them with his little big ears and his little trunk. So mm -hmm. yes, I'm sure he'll love it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Awesome. Yes. So. Uh, now I'll move on to making a little trunk. So since Ganesha is, is an elephant, because he has a little elephant trunk, I'll show you guys how to make the trunk. So kind of the same technique that we did with the legs. You're just going to get it like a little circle. You're just going to roll it up. And, and so I'm just going to get a little bit more turmeric. And you want this part to be thin, because if it's, if it's too thick, it might break off. So you guys just want it to be thin. So I'll show you guys in just one second how mine looks. I'm just going to fix up the shape. Yes, so it's kind of like a long uh, shape. Uh, yes. And so then I'm just flattening out the bottom, just so it kind of looks like a trunk. And then if it's if it's like crumbling, then maybe you just want to break it off a little bit thinner. Um, if not, then uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it like. Let me see if I can show you. So you're gonna put it first a little bit at the top of his face. So I'm actually just gonna make mine a little bit more thinner. So since it's crumbling, I'm just making mine thinner. So I'm breaking off a little bit, a little piece, I'm just making it thinner. So I'll just show you guys in just give me one second. Yes, so I made it a little bit smaller. So this is a shape. So now you're just gonna get your little clay piece. 
you're gonna put it at the little bit at the top or like on his face. You're just gonna put it down and then you can like bend it, curve it if you wanna curve it, or you can put, oops, so it broke. So I'm just gonna make mine a little bit more thinner since it keeps mm -hmm. breaking. So if that happens, yeah. So can you can you maybe give them a tip if that happens? Yeah. So if this happens, you guys can use a toothpick once again just to support it. You know, put the toothpick somewhere and just have it supporting, or you guys can just make it a little bit more thinner, or you can guys um, you can put it on his body first, then maybe shape it so if it keeps crumbling. So I'm gonna make mine a little bit smaller once again, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of water just so that it's more like a little bit more soft. So now I'm just gonna put it. So I'm going to get actually a little bit of a toothpick, another piece of toothpick. I'm just going to put that on his body. And so I'm just going to put the little trunk there. I'll show you guys and just give me one second. I'll, I'll pick it up and show you. Yes. So this is the trunk so far. I used a little bit, a little toothpick, if you guys can see it on camera. I just put it under just so that it supports. So this is a little trunk. Yes. And so now if your turmeric is dry, like around the face, uh, you guys can get your paint. So this part is optional. If you guys don't want to, you guys don't have to. But we're going to paint on his little basma. So the basma is like the sacred ash that we apply to our forehead. And, and um, also we're gonna need, so the paint colors we're gonna need is white, black, and red. And so the black is optional. You guys can use any color you like, but the black is gonna be where we're making the little eyes. And so the white's for the basma and the red is for his little um, thilak or his little bindi. Yes. So if you guys uh, wanna get your paint as well, and if you guys already have your paint, you guys can just fix up the shape of your Ganesha if you want. If you want to like add some more water just to um, get rid of the little cracks, just a little bit at a time. So I'm just gonna go grab my paint really fast. So I'll give you guys maybe a, a few minutes to get your paint and then we can get started with that part. Ma, can you show the trunk? Ma, push yes, the trunk. Yes. Huh. Yes, yes, sure. Because I went to get something, so. No problem, no problem. Can you see? Uh huh. Okay. Okay. You got it. Yes. Yeah, so I think what Tracy did is that she made the trunk initially a little bit longer and thicker, but because the turmeric was uh, not proper consistent, it was falling. So she put a toothpick there to hold it. Yeah. Yes. So if the trunk is like breaking off, you guys can put like a little toothpick or like a little stick or something just to support it because the reason it's breaking is that it doesn't have anything to hold it. So since the, the turmeric is a little bit thin and it starts to crumble, um, I decided to put a toothpick under just so that it can like support the weight. So that's what I did just so that you can see like just so that it doesn't break off. So here I have my black paint and I have kind of like a little bit of a pink instead of a red. But that's fine. If you guys don't have red, you guys can use any color. And I have some white paint here. So I'm, I'm just going to give it maybe a few more minutes to dry, maybe a minute or two. And just maybe give you guys a minute or two to finish up your little um, Ganesha's. And then I'll show you guys how to paint it. So you guys won't need a lot of paint for this. You actually just need like, like even a dot, just like a little dot. You won't need that much. So I'm just making some room on my um, my plate so I can add the colors. So I'll just wait maybe a minute or two and I'll show you guys. How is everybody doing with their Ganesha? Good. You guys can just give a thumbs up if you want. You guys are doing good. Beautiful, my penelo, that looks beautiful. Wow, love the awesome. trunk. Awesome, the trunk looks beautiful, yeah. yes. <laughs> Amazing, yeah. awesome. Very nice, who else has something up? Yes, my Sherry's holding up for her daughter. That's a beautiful mom. I think that's Colin there. Is that Colin? What, Tatiana, you're saying something? 
Yes, I'm just I'm a boy. It's Colin, right? Colin again. I can hear you. I'm a boy. Yes. Yeah, Please. Yes. Your, your, what is your name? Colin. Yes. Colin. Okay, thank you. Your Ganesha looks beautiful. You've done a great job. It's my first great time. Cute. It's my first time. It's your first time? Wow, you're very, very artistic. Wow. Very nice. We love awesome. it. So unique. Each one of your Ganesha looks so happy because it is, he is a direct embodiment of your energy. The same way Devi made Ganesha from her muscle memory, you are now putting your energy and making your Ganesha. So he's very happy. And because he's happy, you will also be very happy. So good job. And then who else is there? Malusi, how's it going there? Can we see the Ganesha? Yeah, we have four of them. So we're all doing it together. Awesome. Awesome. Teamwork, very nice. Beautiful. Wow, that's a beautiful Ganesha. Very nice. See, they're able to make a bigger one because we're all working together. Yes, I'm seeing Umesh screen, and that's wonderful. Are you guys making that with, is this a flower or clay? Or is it a clay? Yes, I think. Clay, it's um, turmeric, turmeric and water. Sorry, our hands are dirty, so oh. <laughs> we're, making, we're making with clay. Oh. <laughs> Make it with clay. Okay, very nice. Yes, very awesome. unique. So you guys are using. So you guys are using. Turmeric is using clay also. Yes, it's very messy. And I think, uh, and I think that Colin has used turmeric also. Yes. Yes. Yeah. He did it with turmeric. Okay, very good. And then yeah. Mahayogita, how are you doing? Can we see your Ganesha? Wow, awesome. I love the ears. The ears are so <laughs> cute. <laughs> Very nice. All of you have made such beautiful features and put Ganesha together. Very nice. Yes. So, yes, <laughs> I can see Colin's hands. He's showing his hands, so he's showing he's making it with turmeric. Very nice. Awesome. Yes, so now we can get started with the paint. So just, I'm just going to put a little bit of white on my plate. Uh, if you guys don't want to use your plate, you guys can maybe put on a napkin or on a piece of paper or a palette, if you have a paint palette. And you only need like very little because since my Ganesha is small, I'm just going to use a little bit. And since you guys' Ganesha is like, if he's a little bit smaller as well, you guys are not going to need that much paint. So just put a little bit of paint only. I'm just going to put a little bit red as well and then maybe a little bit of black. Yes, and so uh, what I actually recommend for this part is actually using a piece of wood or like something thin. Um, if you don't have a thin paintbrush, um, maybe use uh, something like really small because we're going to be needing to use very small details. Thank you. Sure. Um, so for me, I'm actually going to use maybe like uh, maybe an instant stick or a paper clip once again. So like something thin, very thin. Um, if you guys have a thin paintbrush, that will work as well. Or if, even if you're using clay, if your clay is like the type that it's already dry, you guys maybe might be able to use a marker. Yes. So now I'm just gonna add the busma. So I'm just gonna make three little lines across his forehead. So I'll do it. So I'm just gonna get my paper clip and I'm just putting it a little bit in the paint. Yes. And just making three little lines. I might actually make two instead since he's a little bit too small. Maybe three will be too many to fit. So just fix So those are his little two busma lines. You guys can see that. <laughs> and then now I'm just gonna make his little bindi. So I'm gonna get my kind of like red paint. And I'm just gonna put that in the center, like at the top of his trunk. Just, I'm gonna make that a little bit big. Yes, so this is a little bindi. If you guys can see, it's a little bit hard to see since it kind of matches the turmeric, but it's right in the center, right under the basma. So you guys can do that as well. And then now I'm just gonna make the eyes. So the eyes, you guys can just get creative with it. 
for me, I'm just gonna make it a little bit simple and I'm just gonna make it so his eyes are kind of closed. So, let me see. Yes, so maybe I'm, I'm gonna make kind of like a little arch, kind of like a kind of like a rainbow kind of shape, like an arch. And I'm gonna put a dot in the center. So it looks like his little eyelids and then a little dot. So I'm gonna do it and I'll show you guys in just one second. And it might be a little bit tricky since the turmeric might come up on the paint. You guys have to do just a little bit gently. And if, it's, if the paint's not going on, it might need to wait a little bit just for your turmeric to dry. Or your clay, if you're using like a wet clay, you might need to wait for it to dry as well. Yes. So this is a little eyes. <laughs> you guys can see that, they're kind of small. Yes. You can make yours big if you want to. Yes, and you guys can even add paint onto his little crown if you want. So if you're using clay, you guys can fully paint it with whatever colors you'd like. If you're using turmeric, you can add like little colors for like little jewels on his crown. And maybe I'll add that part later for mine. I think I'm gonna keep it like this. Maybe, yes. maybe they can add the mouth. Oh, the little mouse, yeah. yes. So Ganesha actually has a little mouse that he has with him all the time. He, he rides his mouse all the time. He goes on adventures with him all the time. So if you guys want, if you guys, uh, after the session, maybe you guys can even make his little mouse on the side with him. Uh, when I first made my clay Ganesha, I also added a little mouse. It's really cute. Yeah, it's very nice, Maha Yogita. Thank you for showing. Oh, yeah. did you see? You already made it. Awesome. Very nice. And also, uh, some of you might already be knowing this, but he also loves laddus, right? Yes. Ganesha oh. loves to eat sweet laddus. So you can make and give him laddus. Yes, yes. Great. So yeah, so now we come to the uh, end of the session. Actually, it is our time now to end the session. So if any, if everybody maybe wants to hold up your Ganesha, we would love to see it. And we'd like to take a picture while your Ganesha is together. Yes, so if you can just hold it up to the camera. And, yes, and if you're not finished, it's okay. You can continue to work. You can continue yes. to do after the session. Yes. So I'm gonna count to three. One, two, three. Oh, Ganesha. <laughs> Mahayog, we're ready for Mahayogita. And oh. then, yes, there we go. There we go. Okay. And uh, Yashika, Ma, we're not able to see your Ganesha. Can you hold him up? Yes. Very nice. Okay. So on a count of three, everybody can say Ganesha. One. Oh. Two, three. Ganesha. Ganesha. Awesome. Beautiful. <laughs> Amazing. Nice. I remember you guys, Ganesha looks so beautiful. I can really see that he's really there. I can see that beautiful face he has there. So thank you so much, everyone, for participating in making Ganesha and celebrating his birthday. It was really beautiful. You guys all held such a beautiful space. So now we can end with the Purna Mantra. So sitting with their head and neck and spine in a straight line. Um, also, I would just like to say, if you guys don't know the Puna Mantra, that's fine. Even with you guys just sitting in the space, that will still um, hold the space as well, and we can all still end together. So, putting with our um, hands in prayer position. Om Purnamadam Purnamidam Purnas Purnamadachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishate Om Shanti 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 Hi Hari Om Tatsat Sarva Bhagavate Shri Nityananda Parimashiva Paduka Parmastu Om Nityanandam. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. Nityanandam, good job to everyone. Can you yeah. take a picture of Ganesha? Did everyone put their Ganesha out in front so we can take a picture? Yes, well, we just did that. Yes. Oh, okay, missed it. Sorry. Did we miss you once, Tatiana? Did we miss your Ganesha? We can take a picture. Yes, we can take a picture again. So one more time, let's get, let's make sure that everybody has their cameras on and everybody is holding their Ganesha. And then I'll just, I'll just look through to see 
Yes, I see everyone's Ganesha. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, now let us take a picture. Beautiful. Awesome. We got everyone's so Ganesha. Very nice. Beautiful. Thank you so much. <laughs> Awesome. Say about Gurukulma. Um, 